we're live. We are live. It's starting to stream, receiving content. <clears throat> really? We are live. So it worked? Uh, yes, it did. This is amazing. Uh, hopefully the audio sounds uh, a little bit better than last time. Wait a time. minute. There's supposed to be numbers at the bottom, aren't there? Uh, no. Oh. No numbers. Oh. We actually figured out our technical issues. Yeah. Um, so. Someone who we would like to produce us may have told us 30 minutes after the stream was over how to fix it. Yes. And the producer, our yeah. producer, didn't show up tonight. Yeah. So So he's fired. Yeah, we fired him. Um, but if he wants to come back and help, he's he knows our number. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think last time, so last Sunday we were here, mm -hmm. first one, mm -hmm. lots of technical difficulties. Um, but we had somewhat of a bet. A, not a wager. We didn't have a bet. It there was, you know, how many how many views do you think yeah. we've gotten? Yeah. Okay. What what was my guess? The over under was twenty five, right? And I oh, took the under. You took the under, and you I, lost. I lost, but but I noticed <laughs> if I go and just refresh, <laughs> that it counts up every time. I don't think so. Yeah, it does. So. I only watched no. it twice. I don't know if it counted two separate times. But why did you watch it? You were here. Why do you need to watch it? Because I wanted to see, you know, you like you like you're one of those people. I wanted to you see like to hear yourself. No, no. I wanted yeah. to see what worked. Makes I watched happy. it with the wife, my yeah. wife, mm -hmm. and where she laughed and where she was just like, why am I even watching this? Yeah. I asked her the same thing. Why we did get some feedback. One comment. We right? had, well, there was a, an official comment, but in some of our friend circles, we got some feedback. Okay. Apparently, yep. it's standard comedy practice for the elevator to talk about your awkward elevator rides, which yeah. I didn't know because I don't go to comedy clubs. And that spawned because I actually have a job where I ride elevators. And I had, like recently, one of those awkward situations. So my guess is the person who commented on that has a job. Where they don't ever ride an elevator. Probably at a school or something. Probably, probably at a school. Yes. Probably. Yeah, we're just guessing. Uh, he could be a teacher. I don't know. I don't know. It might be a she. Yes. Anyways. I don't know. Anyways. Anyways. Anyway. Wait, that's the feedback. Feedback. We'll take it. We'll take it under consideration and ignore it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. So... We've got some we've got some good stuff today, but I've got I've I've got one thing that I saw. This feels like an awkward start. I'm going to tell you. It is. It so is. What are we're, you doing? we're still getting our bearings. But I thought you said you had some stuff to talk about. I I, I had to pull it up. Well, hurry up. You should have been. Jeez. That's called okay. show prep. So we know Father's Day is coming along, and um, this is a gift not to get anybody, and I don't know why it exists. Um, this look, this sounds like it's going to be bad. It's I'm probably just bad. This is probably. Not I just this, I saw it. I this read. is probably not entertaining. But go ahead. That is the show. Go ahead. Of the show. Go ahead. A one released a meat scented candle. Why? Why? Who who buys that? Someone who likes the smell of meat. Maybe it's just me, but I don't see that you know rocking off. A one the, the steak sauce steak, people. Steak sauce. Meat scented candle. I wouldn't buy it. But now I know what to get you for your birthday. No. No. Why? It, if it, someone wants to send us an A1 meat-scented candle, wasting we will display it right here, I promise. And then I and will, we will light it. I'll immediately And we will away. do the show smelling can you, can A1 you stop meat. Hitting my I like to table? hit the table. I'm sorry. Okay. All right, what else you got? Cuz that was that was pretty lame. That's pretty lame. Okay. That was bad. No. I, I, I've got uh, cold feet. I don't know if I want to bring up the next one. I don't know. <laughs> Let's hear it. You had a story last time. I've got a story this time. All right. What's the story? Okay. <clears throat> this is about three. Are you reading notes of the story? It's just a... You it's, shouldn't it's a topic. need notes it's for a, your story. It's a topic. It's just like a bullet that reminds me. Good hey, reminds mess. Me. What are we in speech class in eighth grade? Yeah. Welcome to my podcast. Good. Come on. Okay. Uh, this was uh, probably right after my wife and guy got married 11 years ago. Your wife and a guy got married? My wife and I. Oh. <laughs> I got you. The guy was me. Um, so we went to Colorado, okay, for skiing. 
snowboarding, if you will. Like Sonny Bono. Yes. Uh, but mm. no, too, too soon. Too soon? So, it's been like two decades too soon? It just, it just was not a good segue right there. Um, one of the things that really annoys me is when you hold the door open for somebody and they don't say thank you. Do you agree? It grains my gears. Like, it really does bother me. Do we need to shift gears? No, no, no. Listen, this is actually a good story. This is a good story. Why well, do you need wait. to tell about your trip to no, no, Colorado no, no. to say... Because, because of the, the situation. So, have you ever watched Dr. House? Oh, I knew you were going to bring this. I just, it just you know popped this my way, head. Right? You know Cuddy this. or whatever. Yes. I held the door, door open for Dr. Cuddy. And if you I ever... thought it was an elevator. No. Oh. And we were in the elevator, and then after we got out of the elevator, I held the door open what for a, her. What door? Elevator doors slide no, open. No. You exit the elevator, and then right there is the exit to the parking lot. How many feet away? 20 feet. That's a long ways. But she was right with us. I keep on building the mic. She was right with us. I held the door open. Nothing. So, Dr. Cuddy, why the hell didn't you say did you thank s- you? L- look, did you say anything to her in the elevator? Uh, No. Nothing. No, but because no. because she was talking with her. Oh, friend, you mean another know. awkward elevator situation? There we Let's go. not bring that up based on feedback. There we go. But nothing, not a word, not a thank you. Listen, it really does bug me, and that's just one example of me. I think it bugs you because you kind of had the hots for Doctor Cuddy or whatever. Uh, no. No. I got a real situation. This is this is this is going on right now. And I actually want your opinion. Okay. And if we get audience comments, that would be good. Because I'm actually questioning this. I live in a subdivision, and in my subdivision, well, you know where I live. Um, someone, I'm going to guess 10 to 14 days ago, a, a motorhome parked in my subdivision next to a house that's like right across the street and over from mine. And it's not like it's, I mean, it looks like a well taken care of. It's not like a piece of junk you know but it's like probably a late 80s early 90s motorhome i'm guessing i mean it's not the it's not like the the charter bus type it's got like the you know like the ford front end from like the front eight you know anyways they've parked there and it looks like it hasn't moved now i know that someone's using it because i'll get home on a hot day and the air conditioner unit on it top is running my question is how long if you're visiting, can you stay in a motorhome parked on the side of a subdivision before it's okay for me as a neighbor to kind of question that and be like, mm. I'll say five days. That's it? That's five not, days. I, this is, no. Five days. It's longer than five days. Because if you're, if you're traveling from a long ways away to visit family you don't see very often, I'm fine with maybe up to two weeks kind of what I'm thinking. Beyond two weeks, beyond two weeks, but beyond two weeks, why do you have a Hello, motorhome? property tax. Why do you have a motorhome? Exactly. You're not actually Maybe using it's Cousin it. Eddie. No, it is nice. It's nicer than that one. Family vacation. You really think movie. five days? Five days. Max. If it were... if, if Five were, days is not very long. On the sixth day, I'm like... But what would maybe you do? Maybe be calling what do, you, what do I do then? Do I, do I go knock on... What do you do? Leave a sign on the motorhome? No, I don't... I, it even has like... I haven't seen this. It's got like a... Like a cover over the over the front glass like keeping all the light out there's something shady going on i mean i've seen breaking bad i was just gonna say that it's not that big though was it dr white heisenberg Mm -hmm. yeah i five days five days and then i'd probably be calling someone okay and that's not i don't think i'm being i think five's too soon to be honest i really do but i still probably a day and a half in my neighborhood it just kind of bothers me like, I drive home, and there's a f- freaking motorhome. Anyways. Yeah. All right. What else you got? I, had a, I, saw a couple, <clears throat> I saw a couple articles that I wanted to share with our audience. These are not like uh, your go to CNN, Fox, NBC, whatever articles. These are like you got to dig a little bit, but they're out there. They don't have to dig too much. One that caught my eye. We've heard the stories before that airplanes, what they do with the um, bathroom leftovers. Mm-hmm. What have you heard about that? Uh, I think it's just an urban myth that I've heard that they dump it. Yeah. They dump it. I thought it was an urban myth, right? Yeah. Because I thought, 
look, it's an urban myth. The reality is what they do is when they pull into the airport, somebody hooks a pump up to it yeah. and pumps it out, right? Yeah, that makes more sense. Well, someone in Canada were sitting in their car and liquid poo started falling from the sky. And there's pictures. Their car was covered. And they were covered. So apparently this does happen. So how do you figure out what airplane did that? Because there's got to be some recourse there. Right? What recourse is there going to be? They sustain, did they sustain damage to their car? No, they just, it stunk. It wasn't like it was hailing poo. I didn't know if it, you know, froze on the way down. Oh my gosh, you've been watching. Listen, I hey, knew it was. Hey, how was your trip to Colorado with Dr. Huddy? Cuddy. Whatever. Good grief. All right, the other one, I'm going to send you a picture. Listen, we, one thing we got to work on on the stream is we got to be able to share pictures which i know is possible but we don't know how to do it that's on joe it's on you we're in your studio by the way do you have a name for this studio this is my office okay well, what's the studio name we need to be sponsored i don't have his name of the studio that's terrible uh it is in the basement of my house also serves as my home office hey and soon this table here will be replaced with a table made by our first sponsor, Bell & Ballast Designs, uh, which is my wife's interior design company. How much um, are we getting for that? Uh, nothing. <laughs> but she, she's making me a custom hey, uh, wood table hey, that's going to look badass. I got a question. Yeah. Do you, what company do you work for? I'm not, You're not we're saying. We're not talking about that. But it's a, it's a fairly it's large. A, it's a very large company. IT company. It's a nice laptop uh, you have, a, by the it's way. It's not an IT company. It's what? a software software and services company. And you would say you generally use their products? All the time. Mm, I wouldn't say all the time. I wouldn't say all the time. You're worried you're going to get fired? Mm -mm. Okay. Nope. All right, here's the other. I sent you a link. Look at this. you got to scroll a little bit to see the pictures. Um, you look at it while I tell them. Okay. So... A woman was addicted to pulling out and eating her hair, and they she ended up having medical problems, and they pulled a oh my God. 15 by 10 centimeter ball of hair from her. Oh, that's not all. They don't, they, if you scroll a little bit no, further, I'm not scrolling is that further. an intestine in the background? Listen, listen, I don't know why you just sent me this, because... It's medical. It's it's disgusting, is what it is. But it's real. Who eats hair? That's terrible. So there's yeah. Maybe Doctor Cuddy. Maybe. All right. All right. So one of the things that we're going to be doing um, as a regular thing regular on the thing. stream is a top five. Mm -hmm. And my assumption is this top five will generate a lot of debate because I think that's where. We're not entertaining becomes maybe a little entertaining. No. Maybe? Probably not. Just a little? Let, we, let's hope. We need something after that Colorado story. <laughs> so we've been, we've been tossing around some ideas around what are some of the top fives that uh, may stir a little we bit. Need a, we need ideas. Yeah. Send us some ideas. Comment. Comment. But what um, are we doing today? Let's do it. I'm, I'm anxious. We're, we're doing top five sitcoms. Now, this is like not Netflix, not uh, hour-long drum. This is thir like 30-minute 30 30 minute sitcoms Sitcoms that ran on network television. So ABC, NBC, PBS, Fox, whatever. Yep. Right? And um, no other stipulations around you know, nope. genre, mm -mm. around nope. um, years. Sitcoms. Around number of episodes. It's You're going to have at least one terrible one, I just know. No, mine are all... I think we're gonna have two that are the same because I think there's we've you know we we know each other. Yeah. I think there's two that are gonna match. The other ones I don't think will. I agree. I agree. And if they all match, um, I'm gonna question my life. All right, you start with your number five. I'm gonna get number mine five. Ready. Number five is probably gonna be met with some what what do you, why. <sighs> number five is Seinfeld for me. All right. It's a solid. It's. It's a solid show. I know you love it. Uh, my wife loves it. 
Um, I was a late latecomer to Seinfeld. Um, I actually didn't watch it until... You're a late bloomer in more than one area, buddy. That is true. I did not get a growth spurt until college. So, <laughs> fun fact about me. Anyway, or a sense of humor. I, <laughs> I question if I have one. <laughs> well, so do they after that Colorado story. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what's funny? I don't like it when people... Uh, it's a, don't say thank you when I open the door. It's a get off my yard comment. I've got a lot of them. A lot of anyways. Go, sorry. So what, anyway, why does Seinfeld? Well, it's top five, so it's it's top good, five, but it's, it's good. It, you'll you'll see why um, I prefer some of these other ones to it. It's funny. Well, let's I've, talk about Seinfeld. What are the positives? What are the negatives? Uh, I I love how it's about nothing. I love how it's also about things that happen in everyday lives in your everyday life. There's not like a set. Um, a so you mean like I can putting walk. a hot tub in your apartment happens in everyday life? <laughs> Not Kramer, okay. <laughs> he fell asleep, right? He fell asleep and uh, he got cold because it is something happened. And we don't need. I'm just saying. Anyway, all right. It's good. Good. Uh, number five, solid. Love it. All right. My number five. I'm gonna go with my number five. I don't think this is on your list at all. No. Frazier. I hate. It. No. Frazier. I was, I was, uh, this is a recent show that I've really appreciated. Um, if you're rolling your eyes out there, I would say give it a chance. It took me a little bit. The thing I appreciate about, so Frasier is about basically these like kind of snooby, snoopy, not snoopy. Snooty? Snooty, that's the word. Uh, you know, rich psychiatrist people that are like all about high society and high class. Sounds great. The writing of the show is hilarious. I think that for for my for my list, Frasier has some of the best writers. Well, based, I think based on that first one, I don't know what to expect on another. another uh, Frasier's form. Frasier's a good show. Good show. I think it's highly overrated. How, how many episodes have you watched? Uh, barely one. Then you can't. So then you can't. <laughs> then you can't form an opinion. I formed my opinion in the first no, 10 minutes. You can't. Anyways. And I turned it off for the next, last 35 years of my life. Okay. Go, go number four, then. This is where it's going to get bad, isn't it? Scrubs. Scrubs? Scrubs. Love Scrubs. Um, off, obviously a hospital. Was Scrubs a half-hour show? Half-hour show. Okay. Yes. I don't know. Um, I didn't watch it. Had about at least five seasons. Comedy about hospitals. Turk, no. So if you guys, if you play Fortnite, one of the dances, one of the first dances you get is Turk in his dance. Anyway, it's uh, it's we funny. need to move past Scrubs or people are gonna stop watching. It's funny. Okay, I'm not the only one that likes Scrubs. I. It, Comment if you also like no Scrubs because it's an Scrubs. amazing show. Number four. Way better than Scrubs. Coach. Okay. Starring Craig T. Nelson and hey, you're, uh, now the late... What? You're, you're spiking out there, buddy. Oh. Craig T. Nelson and the late Jerry Van Dyke. Jerry Van Dyke. That's right. Yep. Who was Dick Van Dyke's younger, younger or older brother. Coach is hilarious. Coach, I, I'll give it to you. Luther. I have nothing bad to say. Coach, I, that's another one. That was one of like the shows my dad watched. And then it was on one of the streaming services for a while, and I started binge watching it. It's it's hilarious. That's it's about a... Uh, well, no, I just... like It's about a made-up college football coach. What was it called? Minnesota it? State. Minnesota it was State. originally apparently going to be about Minnesota, but then I don't know what happened, and they just made up Minnesota State. But it's the ups and downs, and... Luther, played by Jerry Van Dyke, is really funny. Um, it, it's just, it's he's trying to build a program, and he eventually builds it up. And get, I don't want to ruin it for you, but Coach is, is highly regarded in my book. And well, Thankfully, I'm not going to be watching it, but I, I have nothing to say. Have you seen Coach? Yes, I, I have. Okay. I've actually seen quite a few episodes. Of All right, number, th number three, what do you got? It's good. 30 Rock. What is this? Have you ever seen 30 Rock? No. It is a great show. Who's that, Tina Fey? Tina Fey, yes. 
Is the bald one in there? The bald one's in there, yes. Okay. What is it? I might as well watch Saturday Night Live. No, it's... Uh, where? Wait, what's the show based on? 30 Rock? What 30 place Rock is that? 30 Rock yeah, I know. And where is Saturday Night <laughs> Hey, we went there, remember? Yeah, I do remember. It was a good trip. It was um, alright. I broke the bathroom. We remember? should talk about that. Quickly talk about it. We went on a trip to New York, <clears throat> and... Uh, this was when, uh, well, I think I wasn't, you were married. Uh, I wasn't married, but I was engaged and to my now wife in case anybody's getting crazy ideas. But anyways, we went to New York, New York hotels are expensive. So we all four stayed in one hotel room, mm-hmm. saved money. And usually you worry about a hotel shower, bathroom and shower facility. You worry about the shower being like really low flow and just barely coming out. First time I took a shower, that it, there was like no filter. It was like the water pressure was peeling my skin off. I got out there. I'm like, man, did you guys the shower? They're like, oh yeah. Joe's like, oh yeah. It's it's wow. It's powerful. Well, come to find out, weeks or months later after the trip, he didn't fess up on the trip. It wasn't weeks later. It was a long time. It was probably right after. He the fessed day. up that the first day he took a shower and broke the shower head. Yes, I did. I don't know how I did it. I honestly, I think I was trying to. Change. I mean, it was really something. I was trying to change this. You know thing. what the bad? Look, I'm going to tell you something. Okay. Here's the bad thing. God. Let's be brutally honest. Be, be brutally honest. When you share a hotel room with people, you smell stuff that you're not used to smelling. Right? It was a small New York City hotel room when somebody had to go. It wasn't me. No, several people had to go. People poop, Joe. People poop. That's that's a natural occurrence. I know, but I don't like to smell other people's poop. You've got two kids now. Yeah, you don't mind smelling your own kid's poop. It's not great, but if you had to choose, you're going to choose that. Something about this uh, rug you put down on the floor makes me want to poop. <laughs> it's a Notre Dame one. <laughs> Strategically located a Notre Dame yeah. blanket yeah. under where he's sitting. I hate Notre Dame. I love hate it. Him. All right. All right. Uh, is it your turn or mine? No, you did 30 Rock. Turn. My turn. Number three. We talked about it, but Seinfeld's number three for me. Seinfeld. Here's the thing about Seinfeld. The good and the bad. Why it's not ranked higher. Because probably there was a time in my life I would have ranked it number one. Mm-hmm. Um, the thing that's great about Seinfeld is... Rewatchability. Nah, well, that's actually kind of a negative for me now. I'll, let me. So anyways, the thing about Seinfeld that's good, if you wouldn't interrupt Mr. Colorado is each of the four main characters will have separate character stories that are doing like separate things and at the end they tie them all back together and they end up affecting one another in some weird way that you never would have expected. Okay. I'll That's sure. what's great about Seinfeld. Rewatchability this might be just me and maybe it deserves to be number 1, but I used to rewatch Seinfeld so much. I almost can't watch it anymore. Listen. I know all the episodes. I'm burnt out. The jokes aren't funny anymore. I'm just done. Here's here's where our, we differ. Uh, I think it was last week. Actually, it was last week because we've only had one other episode. Where you said Pacific Rim. The first one. First one. You yeah, because I just oh. watched the second one. Oh, it was good. Mm-hmm. Pacific Rim. Oh, it was good. It was terrible. Did you watch the whole movie? I tried to watch it. I got 45 minutes good. into it. It is what did terrible. you not like about it? It's just all right. If you watched it, what's the name of the big robots? I don't even know. He didn't watch it. I watch at. Why well, watch? Try to watch what's, with Kirsten. What's okay? Then what's the name of the monsters? No idea. You didn't watch I it. I watched it and it was terrible. Anyways, I didn't watch the whole thing. I'll I'll admit that you didn't watch any of it. You're, when he says forty five minutes, he means four to five minutes. Four <laughs> to five minutes. That's what he means. Uh, and clearly he doesn't... Look, all the people out there that have seen Pacific Rim and enjoy it know it is that a, we're talking about Jaegers and Kaiju. Yeah. All right, your idea. turn for number uh, number two. How I Met Your Mother. You know, I never watched that. It's great. Barney Stinson. It had Doogie Howser, right? Uh, yes. Whose name is Barney Stinson in that show. His He's name is not... Ladies his name is Neil show. something. Uh, Neil Patrick Harris. Neil DeGrasse. Oh, that's your like hero. Neil DeGrasse Tyson. Don't get me a start on him. Look, it's a star. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, 
No, it's I lo- look. Neil Patrick this Harris. is this. You just you just fired me up. This okay. bothers me. What's up? These scientific people who people look up to, and because they theorize, they don't even have proof. They just theorize. Oh. I think that that's, one time there was the these stars scientists. over here, and I think that because I studied math in college. That's most scientists. They Good theorize grief. about things, and then they peer review, and then they peer come up with review. they Nobody come up with better peer review. They come up with better theories. Good grief! Peer review those, get more evidence, have more theories. Okay, but there's a difference between getting evidence and getting proof. And guess what they do? They get a lot of evidence and not a lot of proof. That's just what they do. I, I have a feeling that most people side with me on this. I don't think so. I think people are fed up with all these astronomers. And stuff. I just don't think they care. I really don't. I don't think they care. I think you're in the minority there, Chief. No, I don't think so. I think that's what, one thing that's wrong with this country is we don't care enough about, you know, we discovered potential signs of organic life. On Mars. Ooh, we found a worm on Mars. Congratulations. What are we going to do? Go fishing? Oh, no. Remember they were going to find water too. They did find water. So we got a worm and we got water. Where's the fish? Amazing. This is amazing. This thing. is terrible. This okay. is pointless. What's your number two? Number two. Now these last two, I, I'm going to tell you, two and one, I could have put two number, I could have done both ways. I went this way. I'll explain why I went this way just when I get to number one. But number two, which is like one one B or whatever or one A, The Office. This is the U.S. series of The Office. Yep. The great Office show. is great. We, you talked about rewatchability. I've yes. watched this thing through several times, and it Love doesn't it. get old. Love it. The jokes where Seinfeld they've gotten old. The ones with The Office for whatever reason don't. You know, one thing I like about The Office, and sometimes. Season one's a little rough. If you're going to... Look, just if there's anybody who watches this who's never watched The Office, probably isn't the case. But I just want to tell you, season one's a little rough. Got to get through it. They're kind of feeling it out in season one. And it's short. It's only like seven episodes. Mm -hmm. But once season two kicks in and they kind of find their groove, it's much better. I I like how it's so awkward at some times that it's it's hard to watch, but it's so funny at the same time. Like, the things that that go on in that office it you know the other so thing, many red flags around that's hr the thing. issues so side question do you think that a network like nbc since they put the office on air today would put that same show on air with those same jokes because there were some pretty i hope so hope. i don't know hope. i don't know hope is not a method hope is not a method there's a few people I think who will get that. Hope is not a method. Thank you, that. former boss of mine, or boss's boss of mine, for that quote. What do you think? What do you think about what? What do you, what do you, do you, you I want your honest opinion. Don't say, I hope so. Do you think NBC would put that on there today? Now think about some of those jokes. Think about the cultural stuff on that show. I think... I think they would. I think so. I mean, the almighty it was, it was the almighty dollar is pretty hard to right makes money a lot. The question is a here. Here's what I would say to answer that. I think they would put it on the sh- on the air to start, but you know some of these social uproars that people get offended at every little thing. Someone would get offended by something like that, then they might pull it. But there wasn't. I'm, I'm trying to think back of all the episodes of. The Office. And there was some that were... I'm but it's of, a comedy. Look, I agree with you. But there are people who just want to complain about everything. Can I go to my number one? Is it your turn? Yes, it is. Okay. I think I know what your number one is. I think we might be continuing this discussion. <laughs> yeah. Oh. The Office. Number one. And I, and I debated that. Um, with what? With I 30 wrote, Rock? No, How I Met Your Mother. Oh, How I Met Your Mother. My wife and I used to watch How I Met Your Mother religiously. Um, you should go to church. And uh, we also did the same thing with The Office. Uh, I think it was during when Olivia was born. Um, I think that was it. Or maybe I was... I don't remember. But we there was like a week that I had off 
um, of work that we binge watched the the seasons all the way up to where it was at the time because at that time it was still on on air and um, the office I hope they bring it back I know I've heard rumors you can't it's not um, gonna be the same I think it I think it could do well it's not gonna be the same though if they bring it back it's just not gonna be the same like that's like you you're living in this is something I learned recently with um, there's two watching me and you <laughs> This is something I learned recently with, uh, um, well, I'll just say it. The nostalgia of something is always better than the actual thing. Case That's in fair. point. What? That's fair. Case in point. I, there, what, several months back, bought one of those uh, Super Nintendo Classics. Right? And I don't regret buying it. I've had fun playing some of those games. Um but you remember something being this like oh greatest thing ever and then you know you played more modern games and stuff and then you go back and some of them are like eh, this is kind of hard to play yeah i don't think i would i, don't, I, I thought about buying that i get, I get that being saying. that being said yeah. nintendo 64 classic is rumored to be coming out and i'm planning on getting one why not just have the 64? Don't go into the emulator stuff. No, I don't want I an emulator. Say, I, I don't. Emulator. I want something that works. I didn't say emulator. I still have my Nintendo 64 with all my games. We have a Nintendo 64. Yeah. So why? why because get there's it? games that I don't know. I just want one. Okay. What I was, think they'll make it HD. What was my your number, number one? What was your number one? It's not on your list, obviously. Number, number one. Yeah, home improvement. I watched that a lot. Of, Tim, the Tool Man Taylor. Who? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Was that a decent grunt? That's that was pretty good. Yeah. That Jonathan Taylor. You know why? JTT. Here, here's why home improvement's number one. Barely over the office is because I relate to the character of Tim Taylor so much. I you could ask my wife how many times that. He'll, there'll be something in the show that they'll do or he'll do or the way he'll act and I do the same thing. Like, it's just, I'm that way. Other, I mean, I just am and so it's, it's very relatable. I've always, uh, Tim Allen's probably one of my favorite entertainers. Yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty he's, funny. He's, you know, he's a car guy too. Likes cars. Um, he seems handy. Yeah. He does those, those Michigan commercials, you know, right, on the radio. Down in the, in the in the forest with the golden dew upon the grass the sun peers above the beautiful waters of Lake Michigan discover Michigan he does Michigan tourism ads you didn't know this you've never heard one of these did I just you've know, never heard one of these did I just pass out and not, you're not. trying to be funny but it's not working that's not your role in this thing I'm the no. funny guy you're not funny. not funny. You say dumb things, and I make fun of them. That's fine. This is how this is how the chemistry works. Yeah. Can I can I tell some honorable hey, mentions? I, well, yes, but I want to I want to go back to the office. True story. This this may be appreciated if we have any female listeners. True story. My now wife. Whenever I was uh, before we got together, and I uh, had a crush on her, I found out that she liked the office. And that's pretty much why I started watching that show. is so that she and I would have something in common to talk about. Well, okay then. How about that? Is that the same thing that you do now while I'm watching YouTube videos? You try to watch the same YouTube video? and No. There's not much talking going on no. when you're watching YouTube videos, right? No. No. We, I watch car and four-wheeler videos. She watches um, like parenting mommy videos. Hmm. Anyways. All right, what's your honorable mentions? Okay. Um, Big Bang Theory. Honorable Here, mentions. Here's the thing know, about Big I know, Bang. I know where Big you're Bang about. was good, the Big Bang Theory, and we're not back on Neil deGrasse Tyson when we're talking about Big Bang Theory either. The CBS television show was good the first season or two when it was about four dorks who were trying to get girlfriends. Then, when they got girlfriends, it became a relationship show. And it wasn't good anymore. And it hasn't been good since. And I stopped watching it. I, Do you disagree I, with I, that? I, I disagree. This is why I said it was um, 
you know, an honorable mention. Did not make the list. But, you know, in the first few seasons, it was really good. I could relate to a lot of that. I could. Um, curb your enthusiasm. I don't I've think, ne- I don't I think tried to it. watch it one time, and gotta, I just... you got to get past it. I know. First, I know. First, Everybody yeah, says that one. That's, a, that's a popular it one. It is great. Um, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Uh, no? And the last one... I used to watch it. Oh, you know what? Go ahead. Silicon Valley. I, I, I watched... That's not... Uh, HBO, I guess it counts. HBO counts. It counts. You didn't say no HBO. No, I didn't. Um, I'll give you an honorable mention that just popped into my head that I used to watch. was one of my favorites. I, this would have been uh, close to making it. Family Matters. Oh, Steve Urkel. Yeah. yeah Love Family Matters. Love Family Matters. Yeah. What was your favorite show as a kid? Like a cartoon. Oh man. Top of your head. Go. When I was Care Bears? There, when I, was no, it Care Bears? No. My Little Pony. Thundercats? It's pretty good. Thundercats Ho Hey oh. It's Hey Oh. Um no, Toe. Oh my gosh, I forget. You can't don't get us demonetized. Oh man. Um Mine was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teen- yeah, teen- but also Gummy Bears and DuckTales. Batman, the animated series. Pretty good. No. Remember Darkwing Duck? Darkwing. Tailspin? Darkwing. Yes. Tailspin was good. All of those. Chipmunk. The, the. We could have done a top five with like kids. We should probably stop. Yeah, we should probably stop because... I think be... there might be people with some interest in that. I'm glad that you and I are both watching this stream right now. I'm not watching it. There's two watching. Oh, it's not me. You don't have it on right now? Nope, because I'm, I'm trying to figure Ooh, it still out says two. That's good. some uh, bad video settings that may be causing... Are we having problems? Offering. Are we having problems? It's it, it, potentially. Who's messaging us? Anybody? Or do you find no, it yourself? No, it's just it gives me a oh. banner that says bad video settings. So looks like we're still having some technical difficulties. Okay. Okay. Should we wrap it up then? No, not yet. Oh, what do you got? You got something else? No. Oh, gosh. Um, so. He doesn't know what he's going to say. <laughs> <laughs> you were talking about movies last week. Actually, I brought it up. Um, are there any that you are looking forward to seeing? Upcoming movies? Upcoming movies. You know what? I'm actually looking forward to taking my child to see Incredibles 2. I thought you were about to say you're looking forward to seeing Taken. Like Taken? Like a new Taken movie. How many Takens are there? There's already three, four, aren't there? At least four. Is there really coming another one? I, I didn't hear that. There's a TV series, Taken, now. What spawned this question? Is there one that you're looking forward to? Um... I don't even know what's coming out. I don't pay it that much attention anymore. Did you ever see Deadpool? I, I, I try, it's too... too um, look, I, I watched like, movies with bad language and stuff, but I couldn't handle Deadpool. And I genuinely, genuinely, genu, generally like Ryan Reynolds. Okay. But I couldn't do Deadpool. I watched like the first five or ten minutes, and I'm like, mm-mm, too much. Okay. Um, still need to see Solo. Are you going to go see it? Or are you gonna I'd like it? to see Solo. By the way, we got feedback that I was exactly right on on Solo. Feedback from people... We got feedback that the reason that Solo's numbers at the box office were terrible was because people thought The Last Jedi was terrible because The Last Jedi was terrible. Though you may be right, I think... Did you finally figure that out? In the last week, have you figured I out did. The Last Jedi was terrible? What no, Star Wars... I, I watched What it. Star Wars movie was it better than? Exactly. There you go. It was terrible. Exactly. You can't name one. You can't. You're See, going. You're thinking about episode one is what you're thinking about, or the Clone Wars, and you're thinking, well, those are both better. I'm probably going to say episode one. It was not better than episode one. Not even close. Okay. Well, I'm still looking forward to seeing Solo. Anyway. Right, what else? Um, interested in understanding what this Game of Thrones prequel is going to be about. What Game of Thrones prequel? So HBO ordered a Game of Thrones prequel to be made. Now I know there's a lot of storyline that happened before. The you think it'd be arc. like, like when Robert Baratheon, or no, it'd probably be Targaryen, probably be little Targaryens. little uh, Mad it King. Be, it could be the, the little Rhaegar. Uh, what was what, what's the war called? Um, the War of the Seven Kingdoms. No, I don't know. With Baratheon, Robert Baratheon. Yeah, and, I don't know. Anyway, it could be about that. It could be about the Targaryens. Look, things it, like that. It, it'll make money. It'll make a lot of money. That's that's what. Hey, I'm, we're down to. I'm the only we're, one yeah, watching. We're down. We, we we're lost. Losing, we're losing viewers. It's, we're not entertaining. No, we're not. Anyway, um, 
you know if you didn't like this subscribe anyway because we would like else? that what else you got to lose i mean yeah it's this there's way. there's a lot of crap on youtube and we're here trying to entertain you talking about no we're not we're things. not entertaining and you could subscribe to us um, joe i just want to say we might have lost the show at the colorado trip probably not i think you're over you're overthinking things i think we did okay colorado trip so should we talk politics Ooh. Uh, i think everybody that knows me knows that i'm here's the problem with poli- here's the problem with talking politics you always alienate 40 percent of the population mm, yeah right well, no matter which side i don't know there's like 20 percent in the middle and there's like 40 percent on each side and I don't want to alienate viewers. We, I mean, you, you're everybody's inundated, inundated. You know what I'm talking about uh, with politics every day. You know, it's no secret that I am a libertarian. You are on the so, conservative side. I don't know if there. Maybe there's a way to talk about it without getting into. Like, I don't. Yeah, I don't want to get a party into party stuff. Right. So like, look, we have a president. Like him or hate him, he does stuff right in our country. He represents us. What do you think about this whole Kim Jong Un Singapore meeting? What do you think about Listen, that? Listen, for my my children, my children's benefit, I hope I'm I hope that they're they can work so we can work something out. I I I don't I, I just hope that things can be worked out so there's not this tense thing even What are what, how gone. would you define something being worked out? Uh we're getting too serious now. Yeah, we are. We're we're getting we're kind of veering down. I'll I'll quickly answer this. Um, I would think a uh, a true end to the war since we're still not really. Having, All right, I'm. This is this is bad. Hey, I'll tell you something. I'm glad. I'm glad the freaking NBA playoffs are over because a number one. The NBA is terrible. Who watches the NBA? And B, yeah, we actually agree on this. And B, I'm tired of hearing about LeBron James. LeBron James. I don't care every time LeBron James takes a poop. I don't need to know. I don't need to know that every time he poops, that Nike gives him $100,000. I don't need to know this. I don't care. Okay? The guy has won three championships. Three. Who won six? He's not close to Jordan. Who won six? And you know why he's not close to Jordan? Who won six? Everybody... Everybody wants. Er, here's the thing that the LeBron supporters say to about Jordan. Well, he had Scottie Pippen and he had Steve Kerr. Let's look at who LeBron had whenever he won his championships. Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, Kyrie Irving. It's not like he had, took a bunch of nobodies and won. He didn't. And look, look, look at this year. They'll probably go. Well, this year he had a bad team and he still made it to the in, the NBA Finals. Well, guess what? He beat three terrible teams. He barely beat Indianapolis. He beat, uh, uh, what was the second team? The Raptors, which were a joke. Boston. And then he beat Boston, barely beat Boston. And guess what? Boston's arguably their two best players were out hurt. I'm sorry. It just, I'm tired of hearing about LeBron. Is he a good basketball player? Sure, he's a good player. Stop he's with not. the whole, oh, LeBron, LeBron. Stop. You just know, I, stop. I, will, I will debate this with oh, one of our friends. No, I'm, I'm, I'm on your side. One of, one of our friends so that, we, tired. Know, that loves LeBron James. You see what LeBron did? And then it's, ooh, LeBron has an opinion on politics. Let me tell you something. Anytime a celebrity of any kind, athlete, movie star, whatever, they have an opinion on politics, that's fine. I'm not one of these people that says they can't have an opinion. They can have an opinion, and they probably should have an opinion. But guess what? Their opinion is not better than your opinion, my opinion, his opinion, anyone else's. They're not more educated because they play basketball, write, act in movies, whatever. They're just not, right? They're right to have opinion, sure, and they could share that opinion. But people go, mm, LeBron said this. He probably knows. He knows what we should do. Stop. Just stop. Okay. I would debate Now this. I'm worked up. This, I'm uh, telling you, this LeBron stuff, I spend seething. Do you think hired him? Okay, so I think we both agree that we believe Michael Jordan is better than LeBron. Yes. Okay, I think we agree. Analytically, would, would you also say that potentially Larry Bird was better than LeBron? I haven't looked up Larry Bird's numbers, but I doubt it because most people don't consider him the second best player. 
Who do you consider? Who's the second best player? Considering I haven't watched you know, NBA I seriously think, in about yeah, 20 years. Yeah, I haven't either. I mean, I think, look, I I think this is from listen. I, I do enjoy sports, so I listen. I think people genuinely consider Michael Jordan and LeBron in some order to be clearly the best two. After that, you get into a group like Kobe Bryant, Shaq, Magic Johnson, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, James Worth, whatever, right? You get into that group. Reggie Miller. I don't think he's in that group. Okay. He's in the next tier down below that. Paul Pierce? No. Stop. Just stop. So so. Anyways, there's my rant of the week. We should we should have a segment. Tyler's rant of the Tyler's week. Tyler's rant. I there's my rant. LeBron. I like that because tired you have, of you have it. a lot of rants. I, I, I don't know. I'm genuinely I've, worked up over that. I don't think I've ever had lunch with you or have been around you ever without you ranting. That's not true. What, what name something else I ranted on? Everything. See, Literally, that's I mean, a cop everything. out. That's like saying you watch four to five, which means four to five minutes of Pacific Rim. So you rant about sports all the time. Okay. Okay. Anyway, all right. So new top five next week. Um, subscribe. We would like comment, your suggestions. Comment if you want to hear a specific top five. We we've. We've got a few ideas, but... Uh, Look, I'm going to appeal to our audience, which is probably mostly people that we know. Please comment and like if you like us. Even if the show is terrible, help us out. Just help us. It'll make us feel good, right? It'll make us feel good. I still, I'm enjoying this, you know. Even it's if, fun. Even if we have two views. We, this one had a time. rough start. The Colorado trip kind of tripped threw me off my game for a while, let's be honest. I don't it's know where a, you're going with that. A lot of my stuff is kind of like get off my yard type of thing. Get off my yard. You have a lawn care service. Yes, yeah, that I do. Anyways, I don't own a lawnmower anymore. I think I think I think we're 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 good. We're, good. we're 47 minutes in. I think we should, we should right. wrap this up. Cool. So maybe I'll try to find a topic to rant next week. It'll be Tyler's rant of the week. Tyler's rant of the week. And we'll have a new top five. And new top five. And we'll see. If we can beat the streaming number, the, I, the, the numbers. I'll put 75. I'm going to put that number out there, 75. What we, do we have this time? 61. You think we're going to go more than this one? I, I kind of think we're going to go under this 75. One. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, appreciate it. Hey, we're not wait, entertaining. Wait, wait, wait. Before you close this. Yep. I'm giving you an action item in front of the audience. Okay. You need to name this studio. And it can't be some terrible, it's Notre Dame studio. No. You need to name the studio because if you listen, all legit people have a it could be the uh it could be the Johnson and Johnson studios. Okay. Maybe if Johnson and Johnson supported us. Okay. Coca Cola. Uh, no? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh we're not entertaining and uh Definitely we'll talk not. to you next week. Yep. See you guys.